Hey everybody, welcome back. I'm going to make a very, very short video. I just wanted to show you all something that I picked up. I actually picked this up a while ago and couldn't use it. I was going to put it on my Epiphone Texan because my pick guard was lifting. And, you know, and I thought, well, I'll spruce it up. But after thinking it over, I said, no, you know what? My Texan is an antique plus. I mean, it's 1965. And I really didn't want to change it, okay? So here I had this pick guard that I couldn't use on anything else. Well, that was until I purchased that Alvarez MD60BG. And um, let me just say, I wasn't too crazy <laughs> about the pick guard that comes on that guitar. Uh, so when we come back, I just want to talk about the pick guard that I purchased and put on my Alvarez MD60BG and let you know what I think about it. So don't go away. All right, well, I'll tell you, again, this is going to be a very short video with very little editing in it. Um, I purchased a pick guard for my Alvarez MD60BG because I didn't like the pick guard that was on it. So here you guys go. You can see it right here. Um, it has <laughs> the shape that I want. And it is made out of solid rosewood. It's a solid piece of rosewood, not laminated, with inlays in it there are some mother of pearl inlays in it and uh, some wood veneer other wood veneer inlays in it as well but uh, just let you guys see it again and i'm going to tell you what it was very easy to install and it is secure it's not coming off and i think it completely changed the look of my alvarez and i like it also, I just want to be very clear, it didn't change the sound of the guitar in a bad way. Everything changes the sound of a guitar. I mean, <laughs> I've heard people argue so much about that. You know, don't do this, don't do that, you're going to change the sound of the guitar. Humidity will change the sound of your guitar. Now, is it really perceivable by you or by somebody else? You know, that all depends. That depends on how musically inclined your <laughs> ears are and how musically inclined you are, you may or may not be able to hear the difference in it. I don't hear a difference in it. The only thing I can say is I like it. I like the looks of it a lot more than I did before, and that just makes me want to play the guitar more. Uh, I did want to just talk about the company that makes it. And again, the, only, the information that I got, it says brand home switch okay i got it from amazon and i went to you know you could click on the brand home switch and they have all kinds of crazy items that you can buy so again this is a, this is something coming from overseas and the price on it is 22 dollars okay 22.58 it comes with it comes with a piece of wood that i guess is called an arm guard where uh, when you put your arm on the top of the guitar, it gets rid of that real sharp angle on there. And I did put that on my RD328, and it was okay. It definitely did what it said that it would do. I just didn't like it. It kind of really ruined the looks of the guitar. And I really didn't think it was that much of a difference, you know, from playing it, as opposed to not having it on there. Now, I did watch a video by J.P. Cormier. I'm going to try to link it below, that those armrests that you put on your guitar, uh, as long as they have a, you know, like only a quarter of an inch adhesive, it doesn't affect the top. As a matter of fact, it keeps your arm off of the top of the guitar, thereby allowing it to vibrate even more. So, again, I told you I want to keep this video, you know, fairly short. You can order this from Amazon. Uh, the pick guard comes with that little armrest, and it's supposed to fit 
dreadnoughts uh, with a sound hole that is let me see here I'm gonna try to read the, the, the description yeah it says it'll fit uh, a dreadnought from 40 to 41 inches so you know basic Martin uh, something like that and uh, it says the wood is of course rosewood I already went over all that with you but again I will put a link below now this company also sells other pick guards now they don't have the armrest but they sell just just a pick guard starting at around eight dollars and up and again they're all solid wood so if you don't want something fancy they sell coca bolo um just all kind of crazy wood that is just a standard martin shaped you know pick guard but is solid wood with an adhesive on the back um, before i go i will say um it was very easy to install the way I took my old pick guard off was to get my wife's blow dryer and put it on low heat and just hold it on there until it got warm and I could just peel it right off. And uh, I, I peeled the backing off of this one, lined it up, just put the edge down and then slowly set it down. So, all right guys, again, I don't want to keep you too long, but I can highly recommend this pick guard by Home Switch which is sold on Amazon. I'll put a link in the description below. I have a lot of videos coming, guys. This just came, so I will be doing a review on this. Several videos, as a matter of fact, comparing this with other cameras. This is a very uh, budget-minded action camera, under $100, with a lot of features that, you know, the higher-end action cameras have. So I'll be doing a video on that. So that's all I have, everybody. I appreciate you stopping by. Be looking for more content to come, and I will see you all on the next one.